Ramsetting Sky. Um, back with maybe a part two on Ramset or powder actuated tool, such as this lovely guy right here. We're in the shop today. Uh, this was previously purchased from Newegg, and I did a video on how to put carpet strips down with it. And I was saying to use number two load. So here we have a number two load. And these are Dewalt three three quarter inch fasteners. And this is two, three, and four. And these are your common loads um, that you're going to be using using this puppy here. They I think they do make a higher load or whatever, but good lord, um, not for where I'm at. I don't need it. Um, they do have the 32 caliber. These are a little 22 short blanks. These are yellow tipped for number four. Number three are green tips. And the number two is a brown tip. So what we're going to do today is will it go through 3 16th inch steel plate? This is cold rolled steel. Here's a small piece of it here to show you. So will it go through this steel? That's what we're going to find out here in a couple of seconds. So let's go ahead and see if I can do this one-handed. I'm just going to... It's not slinging open. All right. There we go. Had, had a shell in there. And it's not going to do that. Anyway... Always load on the previous video. I did this backwards, but go ahead and stick your your nail in there. Tip there. We're going to start with a number two. If this penetrates that steel, then we know any load. But it really does depend on what's behind the steel. So if you have concrete behind there, you might need a little bit more up behind it. So we got our load in there. Load her up. Let's take a shot at the steel and see what happens. Let me just stand back. I got my safety glasses on. Pressing firmly. And ah, that's got a kick. Oh, that looks like it went through. Let's see. There's the head of it. And it went smack through that steel. How do you like that? That is some crazy stuff. Look how thick that is. Probably go through even thicker stuff. Just need a more powerful load. Let's uh, reload down and uh, let's put another fastener in there. And let's step it up. See what happens. I'm going to put a number three. Number three. Number three loads in there. Cog it. Number three is going to go right there. That's got a little bit more kick. Alright, that's number three. It sunk the head in the steel and squished out the edges a little bit. Hmm. I'm learning a lot here. Alright, swing that open. Let's put in another fastener. The Mac Daddy. The yellow tip, the number four. The most powerful lo load that I have right now, so I couldn't imagine hitting it with a number five or anything. All right, close the tool. Let's hit it one time. Ready and firing. And a minute. I don't want to spook anybody. Um, all right, they're gone. All right, somebody was walking by. So, three, two, one. Oh, that's not good. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Shit. I have some kick. Ow. Especially when you're shooting a steel like that. But there's your number two, number three, number four. Number four actually hit so hard, I think it bounced back out. Yep. So, over doing it. But now you can see 
that thing is bowed but uh they do all go through obviously if the number two did everything else would uh, how powerful is a ram set does that answer your question jeff the maintenance guy everybody have fun be safe at work